Well, indeed it is. turns out, indeed it is, but this turns out this is um, it's a malt, this is malt, uh, I don't know, it's, it's malt, malt beverage, sour apple. drugs just because I, I work with this guy and he he's pretty knowledgeable you know about drugs and he's like a veteran when it comes to understanding you know it was just interesting he was basically telling me if you guys um, the only drugs I've ever tried is Percocet Oxycontin one time and Ritalin one time, but that was like 10 years ago with the Ritalin almost. But uh, actually, okay, it's kind of interesting. Ecstasy, I you know, before I get uh, start, Ecstasy, well, I used to work with a guy that used to also know a lot about drugs, and even before that, he was younger than me, but before that, I was in college, the guy was telling me about all about different kinds of drugs. Man, but anyways, he, I just want to point out some interesting things. He said ecstasy and molly, things I didn't know. Ecstasy and molly, you never, guys never do that around females. Because it makes you horny, it makes you want to have sex. Ecstasy and Molly. Uh, he did say acid or acid strips. Kind of is pretty good. It makes you kind of like a firework. It makes it, you, your hands like trails, like everything in slow mo, like trails. Sounds kind of scary. But then he told me um, if you have a bad attitude or if you're depressed, you're gonna have a bad trip with it. So, uh, and he talking about heroin, cocaine. He says it's like, <sighs> like a wind breeze through your body. I think, um, so you know, uh, it's just kind of interesting. I didn't know those things. You know, it's just this calming breeze. Like, <sighs> I don't know. As he said, if it's your first time, it's a great great experience. I don't I trust me, I hate drugs. I would never do drugs. I just think it's interesting seeing somebody's perspective that knows all about it. Some people like, some people love drugs. It's, you know. But it's a bad thing because it keeps you, he was telling me, it keeps you in your inner circle. It consumes you. It, it's all about money, getting high, withdrawal, money, paying, and then coming down, getting high, coming down, getting high, paying. It's, he says it eats up your whole life. You know? So that's not good if you're young, 22, 27 years old. can't. It's all about money. Money, 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 money. Just interesting things I discovered today at work.
people telling me I uh, shout out to Rob Rad by the way Eagles Eagles all the way all my other fans people tell me I don't know how to pertain information correctly. Like they say the manner in which I explain myself is delusional, misleading, misunderstanding, confusing, yada yada. Well, I have news for you. Just about everything I say is a damn truth. You wanna you wanna just accept it or not, it's up to you. I'm socially awkward. I get depressed. I'm single. It sucks. I never have any females. Never have any hot, hot, hot females or hot ladies, and it sucks. I hate going to public places. I'm depressed all the time. It sucks. All my life, I've never been with a pretty girl. It sucks. A lot of things suck. I want to smell a hot chick's ass. A lot of, a lot of stuff sucks. But I'm keeping on, keeping on. So cheers. And fuck the trolls. That's it. You gotta just keep doing your thing, man. One more thing before I sign off. I was watching Kitchen Nightmares. Man, that Gordon Ramsay. Man, I like him. King Cobra. But, uh... Gordon Ramsay, he's cool. Those episodes are pretty cool. He's talking about touches on discipline. This spectrum of all these different variables with the human being and he's a he's he's a real deal kick at kick he, he's a beast I'm uh I said I'm Lagasse, I meant um Gordon Ramsay and he knows how to get her done but uh I'm not like shout stuck like Chuck <laughs>